first one we are doing in English and we will do it again for the future lives. I'm Anton Oberton, CEO and co-founder of NLabs. And with me today, Benoit. I'm Benoit and I'm CTO of NLabs and also a co-founder. We are together for half an hour, 20 minutes of demo and 10 minutes for a Q&A session. Feel free to ask you know, any question during the live in the comment section on Facebook or on YouTube. Benoit and I will take a moment at the end of the live to answer it. Don't worry, if we miss one, we will answer it direct to you through a message. Uh, welcome to uh, all the people joining the live. Waiting for everybody to join the live, I suggest to watch uh, a compilation of time lapses produced with the NLAPS Taiki solution during the Grenoble Street Art Festival of the edition 2019. Let's watch it. Two thousand nineteen was an impressive edition of the Grenoble Street Art Festival with a lot of international and famous street artists. But don't worry, the edition of two thousand twenty one is also a great edition, and we will uh, follow uh, it uh, using our last uh, portfolio uh, portfolio feature. Um, before the live demo, a quick reminder, Benoit, about the Taki time lapse solution. Sure. So Taiki is a fully integrated time-lapse solution from picture shooting to web sharing. The solution includes first a time-lapse camera called Taiki. We have two versions of the Taiki, the Taiki 3 and the Taiki 3 Pro. Taiki 3 is to make easily a 4K time-lapse with a very simplified workflow. Taiki 3 Pro is for professionals, photographers, drone pilots who want the, the most advanced 6K time-lapse solution. Taiki camera is fully autonomous thanks to a solar panel coupled with an internal battery and a smart energy management system. Two camera and lenses to get after stitching a panoramic view and a really large view angle. The camera is also connected either in Wi-Fi or in 4G LTE to upload picture and data to a cloud platform called MyTaiki. On MyTaiki, as a user, you can visualize, edit, create, and share all the contents generated on the platform. There is also a, a mobile app called Taiki Remote, which is used for the initial setup of the camera and when you are close to the Taiki. Once your Taiki is connected, either using 4G LTE or Wi-Fi, all the settings uh, can be adjusted remotely. NLabs is for the fifth consecutive year a partner of the Grenoble Street Art Festival. Each year, we are doing our best to follow this unique event using the Taiki solution. And this year, we, are, we have deployed 10 camera, 10 Taiki camera to follow 30 uh, different artwork during one month and a half. So it's maybe time to uh, to start the demo. Uh, I can see some uh, some newcomers. Uh, hi all, hi everybody. And uh, so the demo will be in two parts. On the first part, I will go in detail on the settings we apply on the camera, which are all currently shooting on the festival. On the second part, I will show you our last innovation called portfolio. 
on how to use the main feature as the owner of the Taiki account, but also as a user. So let's go to my screen. So I'm currently logged in an account which have been created for the Street Art Festival. So let's get started. So first, I will go using the menu to the My Taikis section. This section is called Taiki Dashboard. So on this dashboard, which is accessible when your account is under the My Tiki Pro storytelling or My Tiki Pro editing status, you can have several information about your cameras. Here and currently, we have seven cameras paired to the account. Some of them are rec uh, recording currently. And you can see information like the camera name, the interval, shooting interval, the last connection of the camera, this one is today, the last uploaded images, what, what is the network bandwidth, SD free space, and technical details like firmware version or battery remaining capacity. If I click on check all details, I can even have more information like what is the latest picture uploaded, what is the temperature on the camera casing, or what is the picture count? Let's have a look right now on the settings of the camera. I can just click here and access the setting page. So all the artwork uh, on the street art festival are taking place during, let's say, from a couple of days to one week. That's why we are selecting an interval, a capture interval, which is quite reduced. Like here, we selected three minutes for approximately three to four days. Uh, so using this, we have enough picture to generate um, cool contents. We also adjusted the period from eight in the morning to 10 in the evening in order to cover the whole period where the artist is working. And then we also adjusted the upload mode. So I click on configure the camera. So as you can see, the upload mode stay as normal. That means the camera will upload all the picture. But we reduced the sending threshold. We adjusted the sending threshold to a value of 10 instead of the default value of 25. Using these settings and coupled with the interval of three minutes, that means the picture gallery will be refreshed more frequently. Uh, so each three minutes, uh, a picture will be captured. And each 10 picture, there, is, there will be an upload to the web platform. That means the gallery is updated each 30 minutes. Let's now have a look on the point of view page. The point of view page is where all the picture uploaded were from the camera uh, arrive. I will start with the first project here which is, I think, uh, if I'm right, Antoine is completed from now just a few days. Yes, it's finished and last the end of last week, yes. So I, I will edit this project, and I will show you some interesting features. So on the right side, uh, you have all the pictures uploaded during the, the event, the completion of the artwork. So here it's 3,385 photos which have been captured. On the left is the filters. So I did not touch any filter, so I can really consider all the pictures for my videos. I go now to the bottom part. On the left, I added some tags, which are quite useful to search for my project, uh, especially when you are on an account with a many project. And you can have a look also at the location. The location is automatically uploaded by the camera based on the settings. But if needed, you can manually update the location, just clicking. It will display a map where, where you can zoom in or zoom out and, and move the tag in. I, I'm talking uh, about the location. You, you will see later, Antoine will, uh, will tell you why. Uh, let's have now a look at Time Lapse Builder. Time Lapse Builder is a tool which is allowing you to create an export. It can be an export during the event or at the end of the event to, to show the completion. 
So when you click on the tool, you have a small set of parameters that you can adjust, enabled or disabled, like anti-flickering, stabilization, which is a new feature we added recently. You have also smart frame selection, smoothing, picture enhancement, and you can choose the target duration. Depending on the quantity of picture, the generation can take up to one hour. So I already created one for you. To check your export, you need to go back again on the menu and click export right here. Here, I have all the exports generated on this account. I will just select the first one and show you, show you the results. So here, just for the demo, I created a really short video, but I think this one is quite smooth and really show uh, how the work is going on. Let's go in detail about the parameter I chose. So first, as the weather was not really good, uh, sometimes clouds, sometimes sun, uh, a lot of shadows and luminosity uh, changes, I choose to apply the anti-flickering. So it's ensured that the video will be smooth. As the camera support, the camera stand uh, was quite stiff, I disabled the stabilization. It was not required here. Smart frame selection, is useful mainly for really large projects when you need to select specific frames uh, based on the weather or on the luminosity. So here it's disabled too. I choose to apply a light level of advanced smoothing in order to, to get this smooth result that you can see. And I also choose to apply a light level of picture enhancement in order to get a sharp color and crisp images. I think it's now time to go to the to the portfolio, Antoine. Thank you, thank you, Benoit, for for this first uh, session. Uh, I will uh, explain you how to use the portfolio. So I will click on the menu portfolio just here, and I will explain you. So the portfolio has been introduced at the same time as uh, my Tiki Pro storytelling subscription a few months ago. Um, it is very easy to create a, a new portfolio. So I will click on the plus button. And now I will select as many as a point of view I want to add to the portfolio. Uh, so I will click, I just have to click on it and it will add it to the portfolio. Uh, so I will select several one just for the demo. You can use the search bar uh, to, to find the, the project you, you want, uh, for example, uh, this one, and just add the name to your portfolio, save it, and that's it. Your portfolio is now available. You can switch between the different projects you add to the portfolio. I will switch to the portfolio we have created for specifically for the, the Grenoble Street Art Festival uh, of this year with all the, the, the point of view. Uh, so you can navigate by different means. The first one is the arrow as shown before. So you just have to click on, on the arrow and you switch from one project to another one. But you can also use a map. This is why uh, Benoit explained you that it's important to update if uh, or to, uh, to have the right location for each camera because it will add automatically your, cam your camera to the map and you can switch from one project to another one using it. So if you, you can zoom in and you can see the different project in live, this one is still, still running. Uh, another interesting feature uh, is, for example, on this one, I can choose a specific date and time, for example, uh, the 11th of June at uh, 11 a.m. And I can switch to another project and it will keep the same date and hour. So I can compare the, uh, the, uh, the status of the project. Uh, I will do it in the other opposite way. So I will go on the 11th. 11 a.m. as said before and 
I will switch to to the the same. So this is the same uh, same wall, but with another camera. So you can compare with the same date and same hour uh, on two different points of view. Another interesting feature introduced with the Mighty Key Storytelling uh, subscription is the advanced filter. So if I click on this uh, button, I will have access to this different kind of uh, filters. Uh, this is they are using our most advanced algorithm and also uh, artificial intelligence in order to filter uh, the different uh, pictures of uh, of the point of view. Uh, the first one is uh, is called Good Weather. So if I click on it it will select only the picture with the clear blue sky uh, in the project. So I have only pictures with a beautiful clear blue sky. It will remove all the picture with cloud or any day. Another interesting filter is uh, I will, to, to do the demo, I will place, I will choose a frame with some raindrop on it. So for example, I know that this day it was rainy, so I have some raindrops on, on the lens. If I uh, also on, on the other, uh, sorry, also on, on the other wall, so I will go back, the eight at 7.45, up, so I have, Raindrop on the other project. Uh, so I will select, I will find, uh, where is my raindrop? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it will, this one. I will, uh, I think it's on, on another wall. And this one. The weather was not so bad after all. <laughs> I will do the, the demo on another. And this one, I have, I think, some raindrop. No. Okay. So if you use the visibility filter, you will have only pictures with good visibility without any dust or without any raindrop on the lens. It's very convenient on very long term project with a lot of pictures. Uh, you, by choosing this filter, you will have only pictures without any raindrop or dust on it. Um, Bernard, perhaps you can talk about the different view you can use on, on the camera? Yeah, sure. You. So I will go back to my screen. Okay, so what I'm trying to show you was one of four uh, multiple viewing mode. So the first one is called the panoramic mode. That's this viewing mode where you can see the all the angle covered by the camera but there is also different modes the first one is the before after mode uh, this mode allow you to select a first date and time and a second date and time and by just moving the slider i can compare what is the progress between the two pictures so here and especially for the street art festival we can really see what is the completion of the artwork? I can show you on the second one if you want. Let's go to a new one. Okay. So here from before the artist start working and right now when it's completed. While using this mod, Please note that you can generate what we call a magic fade. A magic fade is a small video. It's an animated transition between the first and the second image. It's a video of about three to four seconds that you can download and later share. So to generate a magic fade, it's really easy. You just need to click on the right top corner here, click generate, and within few seconds to a maximum of one minute, you will get a notification where you can download your magic fade. Let's go to another viewing mode, uh, which is called the immersive mode. So when you use this one, you are virtually inside the image. And thanks to the really large view angle of the camera, which is 
220 degrees, you can really navigate and move inside the image. So you can zoom out, you can look for details, and you can really move where you want, like this. So here I have a lot of details, and so I can show you a small settings, which is here, where you can toggle between the maximum resolution, which is 6K, or to a reduced resolution, which is HD, but which is more convenient, especially for mobiles or for uh, slow connections. Here, I will stay in 6K, so you, you will get the, the maximum of details and the same. There is also a last mode, which is the video mode. So this video mode is different from the export I showed you before. This one is more like a live video. I mean, each time the camera will upload picture to the web application, this video will be recalculated. That means each time you check it, it, it will show you what is the latest uh, time lapse available. So I can, I can show it to you. So it's not as smooth as the export, but it's really the latest one. And I think now uh, we are ready to move to the latest tab, which is the views feed. I think Antoine yeah. uh, will we, we'll say a few words about it. Thank you. Just before I, I found my uh, my picture with some raindrop, so I will, I will do again the demo of it because it was rainy during the beginning of the of the street art festival. So uh, now you see we have several raindrops on the lens. So I will activate the visibility. Uh, the visibility filter, and uh, I will. It will remove all that kind of picture. Uh, well, that's yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and if you activate it on one uh, one of your project, you can keep the same filter for all the project. Uh, as said before by Benoit, there is another main feature called views feed. Uh, it is also uh, it has been introduced uh, at the same time as uh, uh, my Tiki storytelling subscription. Uh, the views feed will generate automatically some very good uh, and very high quality content once a day. So it will every day you will get automatically one content. It could be a still image uh, like here automatically selected in all the pictures of all your point of view. It will select uh, the best of them. It will generate also some magic fade. This one ha has been uh, generated automatically. And it can also generate some time-lapse video very close to what you can get with the time-lapse builder. So you can get some very nice content automatically, and you just have to share them, to upload them, and to share them on your social network. Another interesting feature is how to share the, the portfolio, because it, it is interesting as a, the owner of the account to have access to the portfolio, but it, it is even better if you can share it. When you switch on the private chain, you will get two different link. The first one is a private link. You can copy and paste in an email and everybody with this, um, this link will have access to the portfolio as a user. Another link is an iframe. You can integrate on your website. You can change the parameters in order to change the color. You can also uh, give access to some of the, the features, but not all. Uh, I will show you two different kind of integration we have done for the Street Art Festival. The first one, we we made it on our on our, um, on nlabs.io on our website in a blog post. Uh, we we have uh, an article about the Grown Up Street Art Festival, and here you can see that you you find the portfolio with all the features we 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 did the demo. You can also switch to a full screen mode and you have access to all the features we have, we talk about during the live the before after the filters
and so on. Another integration, th this one has been done on the Grown Up Street Art Festival website on the main page. And here they have integrated on the, the main page. If you scroll down, you will find it. And here you have all the features again, but with a different kind of integration, they didn't choose the same parameters for the iframe. The demo is done. Uh, we have presented most of the features. Uh, in the comments, we will share the, the different links of the video on the portfolio uh, for you to play with all the features shown. Um, during the months of June, for the people who want to try the Mighty Key Storytelling, we have a special promotional offer. You can get 15% of discount on the Mighty Key Pro Storytelling uh, for any duration, for the 3, 6, and 12 months, with or without uh, the GDPR option. You just have to, to, uh, to, to use the code, the coupon STORYTELLING15FB in your cart when you will make an order. We can now answer to your question. I don't know if you if we have some in the in the chat. Uh, perhaps waiting for, for some question. Benoit, uh, we, we have very often the following question. How many points of view can I add to my portfolio and how many uh, portfolio uh, I can manage on, on my account? That's a good question. Uh, in fact, as soon as your account is under the Mighty Key Pro storytelling status, you can create uh, as many portfolio as you wish. And on each of this portfolio, you can include as many point of view as you wish. I mean, whatever, if you have two cameras or 20 cameras, you will be able uh, with your Mighty Key Pro storytelling status to include all this point of view on a single portfolio. That there is no quantity limitation, in fact. Thank you. And uh, we we have another one. Uh, as an example, we, we had this question during the, the, the same live, but in French. Um, I, I have today, I have, for example, three cameras with uh, three uh, license editing. So the other subscription. I want to switch to a storytelling uh, account. Uh, how can I do it? Yes, it's possible to migrate from a, an editing account to a storytelling account. For this, you just need to contact us and, and we will prepare an offer for you for this migration. It's, uh, it's yeah. really easy. Just send us an email and, uh, and we will do it. You can use uh, the chat on, uh, on our website on, or you can use uh, the following email, info, dot, uh, info at nlabs.fr but you can find ever all the contact details on our website. Uh, we don't have other question and it's al almost the end of the live. So I would like to, to thank everybody for assist assisting to this live. Uh, you can continue to ask your question and we will answer them, don't worry. Uh, if you want to know more about the Grown Up Street Art Festival, you will find the link in the comments. Uh, there are many talented artists to discover also this year. I, 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 I have a nice day and bye bye. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice day.